started off uh, the new Bama World Bank and Weight Champion. That's, oh, your, that's, that's your, your second questions. World Championship and your second big title in Europe. Yep. First of all, how's it feel? It feels great, man. It feels it feels exactly how it should feel. You know what I mean? I worked my ass off day in, day out. I didn't just train eight weeks before this fight. I'm training all the time. Like now, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna have a week's rest. You kick me in the leg and it hurts. You can see a little bit kick, like it hurts. You know what I mean? <coughs> so I'm just gonna go rest, chill out. To be honest, I can't even remember what you me. <laughs> well, as it, it feels great, yeah. It feels great. I'm the champ of the world, man. It feels good. How does this one compare to this superior challenge, Shayo? <laughs> This one feels bigger. It feels bigger. It felt like a bigger moment, you know what I mean? When I when I was fighting some pure chance, loved it, it had a great show. But I felt like I was fighting um, I just was fighting a good opponent. And I felt like I was stepping up another level that I deserved to be at. So it, it, it's just an accomplishment to me that I'm happy that I'm I'm, I'm at that level. I'm at the level I think I am. But not quite as I mean, I think I, I think I, on, from the, on the way here, I thought I was going to go full ninja mode and take him out like Anderson Silva, and that didn't happen, so, you know what I mean, I've definitely, I've still got some work, you know what I mean, I've still got some work. There was obviously a lot of build up to this fight as well, now there was an exchange of words at the weigh-ins, yeah. things got heated, what was actually said? Um, Okay, he, he said he was going to break my jaw, I said that he looked like a broken man already, and I said that he looked like he could barely stand, but... <coughs> Things are said, you know what I mean? Things that are put in the past, you say things to people you love that you don't mean. And I don't even like him when I said it. So, all respect to Alan. Um, we said things, whatever, you know what I mean? I got good, good respect for him. He's a great competitor and he brought the best out of me. That's all that is. All them words, you know, it could have been nothing. It's just it's just emotion coming out, you know what I mean? Because it's bringing the best out of me. You're no longer the, you know, the challenger, the prospect, <coughs> the future. You are the present and the now. Where do you think your next opponent comes from? Who interests you in the in the division? Who do you think will be the best out of Ed Arthur next? I'm ranked 15th. There's 14 guys above me. I don't one of them. I've got 13 left. So whichever one of them 13 want it, I'm up for it. You know what I mean? If you're in the top 10, I'm on it. As you've already mentioned, you know the first round didn't go your way. What was said in between the rounds? What changed to make the second round come out the way it did? It looked to me that straight away <coughs> striking in the second round was far more on point than we were in the first round. Yeah, I remember my coach Dean telling me that um, I needed to get a bit more faint, sell it a little bit more. You know, what I mean, I was just I, I was fainting, but I, no, I don't, even I didn't really believe in faint too much, let alone him. You know what I mean? So I had to get him to I had to get him to take a backward step a little bit more. So I was trying to get the feints going. I'm trying to be a bit more loose. I, my game was I like to get behind the jab. I, mean, I like to get behind it, work behind it, but I was missing them jabs. So we were just trying to sharpen that up a little bit, and I had to circle around a little bit more. And um, my coach thought he was fading a little bit, and I don't fade. You know what I mean? There could be 20 rounds out there. You know, on that 20th round, I'm still going to be going hard, or as hard as I can go. You know what I mean? So they knew they told me to pick up that pace in that second round and go to work, and that's what I've done. Your coach has played a big role in the part tonight then. You seem very family orientated Massive. with you and your team. How important are they and how much have they contributed to this victory? It's all love. You know what I mean? We've we got love between us. That's how, that's how you that's how you grow and that's how you get better. You know what I mean? You can't come into the gym. Egos, you know what I mean? Like who's the biggest man in the gym? All that type of rubbish. The guy who's just started to the guy with the best in our gym. We all pick each other up. We all help each other. We all share ideas. And that's love in our team. That's how we do it. We look out for each other. In a pre-fight interview, you, you said that it was going to be controlled aggression, and come in, hands up, come in, swing in. I just want to know where the head kicks were. I can't tell you everything. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you all the tricks. You know what I mean? You know what I, mean? Like, I, I gave enough away on the blog. You know what I, mean? I, I wanted to just sneak them out there. You know what I mean? But I'm just try I'm having fun. You know what I mean? I'm trying different things. Uh, did I try the spinning back kick? No. Did I not? Did. Did. I did. did. I did. did. Yeah, no, no, no. I tried it. I tried it. But... Oh, yeah. You got my back. And he slammed me. Damn it. That's what happens when you try something. You end up getting slammed. But you know I mean? I've got the confidence to try it. Whatever it is, I'll try it. The, the other thing is, you don't just bring a confidence and a talent in the cage. You're about as engaging a guy to stand in front of and, and answer. Well, how important is this part of the game for you, especially going forward? You know, dealing with the media, doing the interviews. Well, the way I've looked at it, I've looked at it, I've been watching a lot of fights in the UFC and other, other promotions. You want to make money, you got to make people remember, you know what I mean? Something that I heard, I heard someone say before, like, you want to be the guy they remember in the morning, you know what I mean? There's, like, there, what is there, 15 fights tonight? You know what I mean? I want to be the one that when they wake up in the morning, who's the first name in their head is Ed Arthur, that's what I want, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to bring everything, I want them to, you know what I mean? If the guy that sits, there's 10 guys in a room, the guy that don't say nothing, you don't remember his name. 
I mean, the one that says something and gets people engaged, that's the one you remember in the morning. That's how I'm thinking about it. You know what I mean? I want, and that's just me. I'm being myself. You know what I mean? Like, I'm talking up rubbish most of the time anyway. You know what I mean? So I just let it come out. Bama 13, the Bama 21, sorry, June 13th. You're a champion. You want to appear on that card and shout it out now? What's that? The end of June. Middle. <laughs> yeah, the middle. I, to be honest, I don't really know. I go back to gym. I might have a week's rest. I mean, I, I, I wanted to fight in February. I wanted to fight in March. I got told off for the title, so I had to wait till April. So in my mind, I've been training since Christmas. I was, I was before Christmas, but we were in like, okay, let's get serious from from Christmas. So I've just been training hard since then. You know what I mean? And just having fun and learning. So and for me, it ain't the sort of thing. I don't just go to the gym, train, and then go home and then play Xbox and forget about it, you know what I mean? Like I go home and it's ticking. You know what I mean? It's ticking all day long, it's all day long, you know what I mean? So I need to I need that to shut off sometimes. I need that switch to just 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 chill out, you know what I mean? So that's what I wanna do. I wanna go home, I wanna chill out with my girlfriend, I wanna just chill out with my mates and just be normal or try to be anyway. <laughs> You've talked to uh, Mike Boyden before. It didn't yeah. seem like he, he took that too seriously. Do you think he's gonna take that more seriously now? I hope so. You know what I mean? Like I said, it's, it, it ain't about something against what I'm putting or I wanted him. I wanted, I just looked at the phantom mates who were signed for Bama. Boom, who's at the top? Boom, that's the one I want. And you seeing you both match up stylistically, so that would be a good fight. What, me and what? Yeah, I think so. I think, I think, I just, I think, I, I think I would have a good fight against anyone. You know what I mean? If you put a guy in there who just stood there in front of me, I would still find a way to make it an interesting fight. I think that's one of the things I've got. You're very engaging, of course, both in and out of the, uh, the in and out of the cage. Sorry, do you think you, you can be the face of Bama and the face of MMA in the UK? Hundred percent. That's what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I ain't just trying to be some guy that gets rolled over and gets forgotten about. I want to make money. I want to. I want to change everyone's lives around me. It ain't just a bit of fight for me. It's not just something I put down and forget about. This is what I want to do. You know what I mean? This is where I'm gonna. I'm gonna go all the way with this game. You know what I mean? I'm gonna make loads of money. I'm gonna help everyone around me. And yeah, I want to be the face of it. I'm, I'm well up for that. If, if moving's like a, a guy who's not like, say interested in fighting you at the minute still, a guy who came through here, here earlier, Regis Sutton, did say he wanted to fight you. He yeah. said he was looking at this fight as as, as as his next fight, basically almost. Do you think he's ready for that? Do you think he's worthy of a, of that fight next? I think the way you came at MMA's going at the moment, there's guys who've had one fight, there's guys who've had ten fights, and they're all about the same level. Everyone's getting good. You know what I mean? So to be honest, I'm not too interested in fighting him just because he's not ranked above right. me. You know what I mean? Right. If he was ranked above me, that's who I'd want to fight. You know what I mean? I'm just looking for the guys ranked above me, that's it. But you know what I mean? If, if they, they sign it up and he, get, he, he gets more wins, then yeah, cool, I'm up for it. He just, I didn't watch the fight. I saw, I saw the finish just as I was warming up. Um, he's a great fighter. He's like a great guy, great fighter. I'm up for fighting. <coughs> like I said, I don't want to go back to this, you know what I mean? I'm not fighting Alan Philpott who was ranked 13 and then go fight a guy like that. So he has three fights. I'm looking for guys who are in the top 10. That's all I want.